Hey, good morning, everybody. So I've had a few requests um, here on YouTube and on uh, Instagram to, uh, you know, do a little tool, uh, kind of like a tool bag uh, loadout video. So uh, this will be for those guys that wanted to see this. So I do mainly uh, commercial refrigeration, uh, air conditioning. And um, the way I have this bag loaded out is the way it works for me may not work for some of you guys. So it's a really nice bag. So this is the uh, this is the Vito Tech Pack MC, which is not like I've never owned a Vito backpack except this one. I know that the um, the previous Tech Packs were uh, a little bit taller. And I, I always knew I didn't want to get one of those, so I decided uh, to get one of these, these smaller ones. So um, I'll go ahead and show you what, what I got in it. So on this outer pouch, I have some of our asset tags for the company. Um, got a couple of jumpers and a USB charger. That's about it. Now, one thing I will say, guys, is that I try to keep my bags um, as lightweight as possible. Um, one, for weight, and two, because I don't need to carry unnecessary tools uh, to a rooftop or whatever the case is. So, let me get this uh, camera situated and uh, we'll start digging into it. All right, guys. So, let's start digging into this side right here. This is my... Uh, I call this my tech pack side or tech side. So this is pretty much where I keep my field piece probes. Keep three clamps in there. This one's on for some reason. There it is. Keep my pressure probes, transducers right here. Keep my meter. I'm a really big fan of this meter, the SC440. It does everything I need it to do. Keep my uh, my two. I don't know what these are called. I just call them air probes. So return and supplier. Um, it's like just to do some electrical work, some crimpers and the uh, client all in ones. So, I said I keep minimal tools. Like I said, um, got some fuses, some. Uh, Blue wire nuts, orange wire nuts, some spades, a couple screws, a couple straighters. I call these, uh, not these right here, these right here. I call them jelly beans. I've never seen these before. Good for freezers when you're changing out sensors. It's just a little, little parts tray. Non contact voltage, never ever use this. I never do. I mean, Keep a little Milwaukee Rover light. This is a really good light. So I keep one of them in. I keep generally two of these UEI PDT 650s, but I just recently left one at a store, so I'm down one. And I keep uh, some stubbies. Always need some stubbies. The T from Appion, charging T. It's really good. A couple extra batteries for the probes and um, alligator clips for my uh, leads some meter leads right here um, that's about it gents I don't carry a whole lot a little charger for this type of light battery also carry my uh, headlamp I use the same battery so I have a charger with uh, extra battery in there and you always need solenoid magnet. Uh, and this pouch right here is kind of like a, I call it my bastard pouch. So got some nylog, always need nylog. Got an M12 charger, uh, charging wire. And I always carry a little six foot measuring tape and extra TXV screens. This is one that I just recently took off. 
I haven't cleaned it, so I clean them and I just keep them in my uh, bag. So I'm constantly changing these out or cleaning these out on cases. That's it for this uh, tech side, guys. Let me go ahead and uh, get on over to the other side. All right, guys, now this is the uh, back side or the side that goes on your back, of course. And this is just where I keep my tools, um, just my hand tools. So I always carry my uh, M12 uh, stubby impact. Um, here I have uh, just a couple of the most popular size wrenches, you know, from 3 8 to 5 8 And I've always, always been a fan of 90 degree angle deal. I've never ever used this one. I bought it, never used it. I used the old one, but my old one uh, broke on me. I carry two crescents or adjustable wrenches. These are backos. So large, what is it, like eight inch, I think, and a 10 inch. That's what I use. I'm a real big fan of these uh, Nipix names, but I'm a real big fan of these uh, Nipix pliers. They're really, really, really useful. And right here, I just carry all my client screwdrivers. The eight in one, it's a really great screwdriver. Uh, two flat heads, different sizes, and then a small Phillips. It's already, uh, it's already damaged. It's probably time for a replacement, but carry my this is all i carry I, I see a lot of guys out there carrying like 15 different screwdrivers and nut drivers i'm i do fine with these and then right here carry a uh, ratchet let's see what else is in here um some service wrenches larger service wrench and then this is just a uh, quarter inch 5 16 well, i think it's a 12 point so whenever a unit's right next to a wall, you could use this to take the panels off. So this is a real cool tool. I think this is a yellow jacket. Um, oh, Klein tools, I'm sorry. It's a Klein tools. There's a part number, uh, what is that? 68-200, so that's a real cool deal to have. Um, thermostat screwdriver, also by Klein. I'm a pretty big fan of Klein. And then I have one of these. Uh, you can get these at a supply house for free all day, every day. Um, I have some of the wobble uh, nut drivers. So these DeWalt ones are really great. They wobble. So three of those. And then I have some standard nut drivers. These are also DeWalt up to 7 16 or half inch. 7 16 uh, Allen keys. I call them Allen keys. What else I got in here? Service wrench adapter. Those service valves. So these are the extensions I carry. Uh, 12 inch, 6 inch, uh, 3 inch with a Phillips head and my uh, service wrench adapter. And then right here, guys, in the front, got a little stubby. I've lost most of the um, bits for it already. <laughs> Stubby, Klein, and then in here I have all sorts of the most popular sizes of sockets, half inch to three quarter to whatever, an extension right here just in case. And then of course, can't forget the uh, popular 11 30 seconds. Have one of these too. So, Yep, that's it. I don't carry anything in here. There's nothing in there. Because I don't want anything poking me in the bag. But that's it, guys. Uh, my bag is um, just the tools that I absolutely need. I don't carry any unnecessary uh, pipe wrenches or I don't know what. A bunch of assortment of nut drivers and all that. That's just the loadout for what I use it for. Carry a little bit of... Uh, Teflon tape, black and white electrical tape, carry a marker and a paint pen. That's it. But you know one thing I am in, I am uh, curious about is I want to know how much this weighs. I've never weighed it. So uh, let me put everything back in and we'll go weigh it up on the scale. Okay, guys, we got the scale. 
uh, ready to go. Um, I've never ever weighed it, so I'm gonna guess it weighs somewhere between 25 and 25 and 30 pounds or so. It's uh, it's a little heavyish. So let's go ahead and uh, throw it on the scale and see what we got. So we're zeroed out. Oh damn. She is heavy. Alright, see how much it weighs. 30 pounds and one ounce. Wow. <laughs> yeah, see? And the bigger the bag, the more stuff you throw in there. So imagine if I had like the, the tech packs, the bigger ones. Yeah, I don't think I'd like that very much. So. Ooh, now that we're weighing stuff, let me go ahead and grab my uh TP4B. That'd be curious. All right, guys, got the TP4B uh, on the scale with the bags that are hanging on the side of it. Uh, we're at 12 pounds, nine and a half ounces, or nine and three quarter ounces. Um, this one, of course, doesn't carry as much stuff as my main bag. Just a troubleshooting bag, guys. Very basic loadout, meter, adjustable wrench, adjustable pliers, needle nose. All-in-one needle nose, strippers and all that, some crimpers, just two screwdrivers, another eight-in-one here, thermostat screwdriver, um, just has a larger parts tray because this is my initial troubleshooting bag, um, solenoid magnet, jumpers, nylon, and uh, a set of uh, stubbies with... Uh, some 90 degree ball valves i'm not 90 uh, 45 degree ball valves so i don't necessarily like you know all this stuff hanging on the side and i can't carry my drill in here unless i remove this guy which i don't want to remove this guy so i think i'm going to upgrade to the uh tpxl uh here in the next uh, week or two but uh, this was just a uh quick weighing of this one now once we put all that, what was it, 12, close to 12 and a half pounds or so, 12 pounds, 9 ounces, so there you go guys, I want to thank everybody for watching, uh, those of you guys that requested the, uh, the bag loadout video, here it is, especially for you guys, and uh, forget to like and subscribe if you like the content, we'll see you guys on the next one.